Hey, how you doing? This is Dave. Uh, what we're going to do today, we're going to go over uh, how to create audible alerts and then I'm going to show you how to load them into your TOS platform. Uh, and you can load them into most any platform. Just about every trading platform has an alert system. And all you got to do is just locate the folder that's got the alerts in it and load it in there and, and set it up. But I use TOS, so I'm going to show you how to do it in TOS. First thing you want to do, you want to go to Google and type in AT&T text-to-speech software. This page right here will come up. Okay? Right here you're going to have a drop-down menu that's got several uh, different languages and uh, you got male and female voices to choose from. I have used this software for a long time and I've got uh, used to using Audrey who speaks UK English, so I'll go with that one. And then we're going to go down here, and in this text box, we're going to type in, uh, well, let's see, what, what kind of alert can we set up? Let's say we want to know when price uh, uh, breaks out of resistance area. So let's cut, we're, we're going to have Aldrich sell us, she's going to say, hey, Dave, uh, price has broken above resistance. Okay, that's cool. Hey Dave, price is broken above resistance. Now, normally you would hit the speak button and that would let you listen to how it's going to sound. The reason I can't do it uh, on this video is because I found out today that when I open that, uh, uh, when I hit speak button, it's going to open a, a Windows media player window and that causes my video not to upload to my editing software. It's just some kind of little glitch there. Uh, you know, I don't know what it is, but it took me all day to figure it out. So you, on the other hand, you go ahead, hit speak, just listen to it, see what it's going to sound like. If you don't like it, you can go in here, you can pick uh, different names or, or different voices, different uh, uh, languages. But anyway, I use Audrey from the UK. Uh, I'm going to have her say, hey, Dave. Price has broken above resistance. Okay, after you listen to it, you're satisfied with it, you hit download. That's going to bring up all this uh, legal mumbo jumbo that we don't really care about. This is your WAV file. Right click on it, save link as. Now, let me pull this down here where we can see it. Uh, I've already set up an alert file in, in my uh, platform, and I know where it is. So here's program files. I'm going to go up here to Think TDA. Uh, here's my alert folder. And we're going to call this uh, Price Above Resistance Area. Okay? Price Above Resistance Area. Yeah, that one right there. Okay. I've already got that typed in there. I'm just going to. I'm going to uh, right over it because that's just a pertinent example so we hit save yes okay now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna stop this video because the second part of doing this is gonna take longer and uh, let me close that out oh holy cow now now that's my desktop uh, well let, let me finish what I'm saying and and by the way, that, that's a good friend of mine right there. His name's Jesus. Uh, I'm going to divide this into two videos so I don't have to try to cram it all into 10 minutes because YouTube limits you to 10 minutes. So we'll call this one Creating and, uh, uh, let's see, what can we call it? Creating and Using Audible Alerts Part 1. And the second video we'll call, let's see, what would be a good name? Yeah, there you go. You got it. You are smart. Create and use an Audible Alerts Part 2. <laughs> so anyway, now, uh, I didn't mean, I'm not trying to inject any kind of religion or, or even bring religion into this, but I closed that window. And I didn't realize there was nothing else open. So naturally, there's my desktop. Uh, that... That is a, a real good guy I know. His, his name is Jesus. You've probably heard of him. So what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and we'll end this video now. And this will be part one. 
and then I'm going to come back and show you how to load uh, your alerts into TOS and then how to set them and that will be part two. So I will talk to you later.